Hello and welcome to this year's home mission video from the Northern Baptist Association. We want to thank you once again for your generous support for home mission which enables all kinds of initiatives to happen across our region. Today we're going to tell a story of what's going on in Wall's End, Wall's End Baptist Church and thanks to home mission the support that's enabled a new minister Nick McGoran to take post there and to help develop the life and mission of the church. So let's see <coughs> what Nick has to say. Thanks Nick for joining us on this video. Hi I'm the minister of Wall's End Baptist Church Nick McGoran and at Home Mission enabled the church to call me after being without a minister for some time. Because of this we've been able to do lots of mission together. We created pre-recorded online services that were designed to be especially accessible to non-Christians, an extract of one behind you. And we've had hundreds of views of many of these services, which has been very exciting for uh, reaching a much wider congregation than we normally would do. We've also done a lot of explicitly evangelistic work online. We ran a big questions apologetics group as soon as the pandemic began. And we ran Christianity Explored a couple of times and saw one person come to faith. And it's been so exciting to disciple him online since then too. As the Lord's led, we've also been able to do some quite fun and creative evangelistic work. This is a prayer and donuts gazebo event we ran on the church's front lawn last September. We've also been able to reach out more widely. I did an online assembly about Easter for a local school and have been able to write articles for the journal newspaper and share the Christian message more widely. To finish, do you remember the old kids song, we're going to zoom around the room and praise the Lord? <laughs> well, Zoom's taken on a whole new meaning this year, hasn't it? Uh, but because of the home mission support uh, and because of God's grace and leading, we've been able to do a lot more zooming around Wall's End this year. And we pray that his Holy Spirit will be poured out and many people would come to faith because of that. Thank you. Hi, my name is Edith Ramsey from the Baptist Tabernacle in South Shields, and we want to thank Home Mission for their generosity, their support over these past months and years while we've been without a minister. But it's with great joy that we've been able to call a minister in training, Peter Webster, who is working part-time with the church. It's been a difficult time for the church without a minister over these years, so we are all grateful for Home Mission. Peter joined us in August, September time last year, which is a difficult time during the pandemic, but it's been great. He's, he was able to start some Zoom meetings on a Sunday morning and also on a Wednesday evening for a prayer time. So it's been good to be able to keep the church together. We're now meeting face to face, which, which is really good. It's nice to have some consecutive teaching, which we've really missed. Peter is a really spiritual man and we're looking forward to what God is going to do through him at the church. He's keen on discipleship and also on working in the community. So, so we would like to thank Home Mission again for their support and we're really looking forward to what God is going to do through Peter in the church and in the community over the next coming months and years. Hi, my name is Diane Watts and I'm a Baptist minister. I head up one of the four specialist teams based at Didcot. So the Faith and Society team is a very wide remit. We are there to help resource and enable churches across our Baptist family. We do that in lots of ways, by communication through using the website or the Baptist Together magazine, the Baptist Times. And also we are there to help us to reflect theologically on a range of issues that will be really important in your churches. Some of you will have already just in recent weeks picked up things like Politics in the Pulpit produced by Beth Allison Glenny. Or maybe you've had conversations with Jane Day, our gender justice enabler, or Wally Hudson Roberts who's been helping us reflect theologically and responding to some of the significant issues over racial justice. We also connect the Baptist family ecumenically, helping the Baptist voice to be heard in a whole range of different places. It's a very exciting 
time to be a church in this country and we very much do want to hear from you. Please do get in touch at any point. We love to talk, but most of all, we really love to hear your stories and uh, we want to share those as widely as possible. Thank you. Hi everyone, it's good to have this opportunity to speak directly to you as your home mission coordinator. We've just heard from one of our smaller NBA churches who I had the privilege of serving on two occasions in the 1980s and in 2019. They are benefiting from a grant towards their ministry and as we have heard, it is bearing fruit in all sorts of different ways. This has been made possible because of your church's giving to Home Mission. Unfortunately, we missed our target last year by about £2,000, as did many other associations, and as a consequence, our grant from the BU was reduced for this year. This means that we will have slightly less funds to give grants to churches to support their ministry and mission activities. This year we are committed to supporting nine of our NBA churches and towards the cost of the Hub Tutor, to a total value of just above £40,000. In the future we may not be able to be as generous unless the national giving to the family purse increases substantially. I know that we have been through some very difficult times recently, but your donations actually pay towards the stipends and salaries of people around the country who are dedicated to serving the Baptist churches and associations. By my calculations, if every NBA church donates £4 for every member per month, it would increase our total giving by £22,000 over a year. If this was done nationally, it would, at a stroke, mean that there would never again be any clawback of our funding and putting undue pressure on the NBA's budget. So my heartfelt plea is that we all continue to make our home mission giving a matter of urgent prayer and to review our level of giving in the light of changing circumstances. Every blessing to you all and thank you once again. It's good just to get a glimpse of what God is doing through uh, his churches, through his ministers at a local level, through those who service in national capacities such as Diane, as well as those who serve regionally across our country. And we want to say a big thank you to you for your prayer, your encouragement, your giving, your support. For we all do this in the name of Jesus, seeking his glory and that his good news might be made known.